Hey, what's up? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I'm kind of excited about flying the Mini 4 Pro with the Motion Controller 3 and the DJI Goggles 3. These three all use OcuSync, or O4 as it's now called, and they all talk to each other, so you should be able to fly the Mini 4 Pro a lot like you fly the Avada 2. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so after you've updated your firmware and selected the drone in the device selection or the drone selection menu, uh, you can choose between the Mini 4 Pro, the Avada 2, and the Air 3, which will all fly with the Motion Controller 3 and the Goggles 3. So in order to make the Motion Controller 3 work with the Mini 4, you have to unbind it from whatever controller you were using before. We'll take you through that process now. Okay, we were gonna fly with the Motion Controller 3, but originally the Mini 4 Pro was bound to this DJI RC2. But we were getting a message in the goggles that said using unbound device, and therefore you only get five flights. This has something to do with DJI care refresh and the fact that they don't want you to be able to fly with something different a bunch of times, crash, and then they have to replace it. So they make you unbind the current device. And by bind, we're not talking about uh, the drone seeing it and being able to control it. We're talking about bound to your account. So what you gotta do is open up the device that you wanna unbind, go to profile, go to device management, go to the device, go to value added service, unbind device, and you have to have a network. That's why we're standing here next to my office so we can be on the Wi-Fi. Hit next, hit confirm. And then what should happen if you have a network connection is it should say unbinding successful. In which case, now we can bind this to fly with using the goggles. We also wanted to see if we could actually fly with this using the goggles, but we'll try that in a moment. Okay, so since we unbound from the RC2, we're gonna try to now bind everything to the goggles and the motion controller three. So let's go ahead and turn the Mini 4 Pro on. Let me turn on the goggles. I am not seeing that little message anymore that says um, it needs to be bound. I do, oh, you can you can use the picture-in-picture. Uh, picture. I'm using it currently. You can't see it on the phone, can you? No. All right, let me see if I can, um, I guess I can't screen record that, can I? No, no. So, because right now I can see Chris, and then in the upper left of my screen, I can see what the drone is seeing. You're not seeing the camera? No. Oh, camera view, let's, let's try that. Okay, well, let's hit Mini 4 Pro, camera view. Yeah, allow, oh, there we go. So now that we've got all that done, I'm gonna take off with the Mini 4 Pro. You double tap the brake button to get the motor spinning, and then you hold down the same button to take off, and then it's gonna hover for a second. So I can move the camera up and down using the motion controller, but head tracking does not seem to be on. So for the first flight, let's try it without head tracking. So now it's got all of the different um, obstacle avoidance sensors. It's seeing Chris. It still uh, yaws the same way. You rotate your wrist and you uh, pull the trigger back to the first indentation just a little bit. And that's what makes it yaw. And then it follows the little dot, just like the Avada 2 does. So now I'm just following the dot into the sky. I am now coming around. And you know what really surprises me is after having flown the Avada 2 like this for a couple of weeks now, it's a pretty similar experience. I mean, it kind of feels like I'm flying the Avada 2. I've got to keep in mind that I'm not. There is no um, manual mode with this. Of course, there is a sport mode, which I could switch into, but I'm gonna just keep it in normal for the moment. So you just have to keep in mind that you're not flying an FPV drone, you are flying a camera drone now. And so all of the things you can do with an FPV drone with the quick movements and all that are gonna be a little bit slower. You don't have ducted props. Your props are very much open. 
The thing is very fragile compared to an FPV quad, and so you got to keep that in mind as you fly. But the experience is very similar to flying the Avada 2 with the Motion Controller 3. It goes wherever you point the dot, and I'll tell you, the detail that you can see this way is, is pretty amazing. It's really um, very immersive, as is flying FPV, but I think also, because it's a camera drone, I feel like the footage is gonna look more cinematic. It's gonna look more smooth. It's got a three axis mechanical gimbal as opposed to what is on the Avada 2, which is primarily getting stabilized by image stabilization, electronic image stabilization. So you're gonna get that full 4K image being stabilized by the gimbal. Okay, and bring it in. Yeah, I'm curious. And whoop. That's, right above you. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> went too far. It's 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 not quite as precise to control. Uh, I'm going to use the stick to bring it down. Pretty pretty amazing how far it tilts actually. Further than the Avada 2, I believe. So Chris pointed out to me as I was flying that I might have been in FPV mode on the Mini 4 Pro because everything was kind of like going. The horizon wasn't locked. It was flowing like FPV. You basically come over here to the left menu, you go into settings, and you go into control, and then you can see in gimbal mode, it's in FPV mode. So we were gonna put it in follow mode and see if that makes everything more steady. So now we'll take off again, and remember you can recenter your stick by pushing it forward and holding down this button over here. Oh, but you can't do that maybe while you're recording. So let me see if I can stop recording and... There it is, okay. And I'm gonna start recording again. So now I'm in follow mode and we're gonna see if that actually locks the horizon in the goggles. Yeah, it's got the horizon locked now. So that's why it felt so much like I was flying the Avada was because we were in FPV mode, and that was making me feel like I was flying an FPV quad. And now that the horizon is locked, and that's what I'm seeing is a locked view of the horizon in what's called follow mode in the control settings, now it feels like I'm flying a camera drone. So now I'm over here, I can kind of stop and hang out. I can still yaw a little bit by just rotating my wrist. I have a question. And pulling the stick a little bit, yes. Can you do an orbit by using the joystick? Oh, that's an interesting question. So I'm gonna try and orbit, you see that cell tower? Yeah. I'm gonna try and orbit around that cell tower. So if I use the joystick to go right, the thing is the joystick is very slow. So now I'm in sport mode, and let's see if the stick goes a little faster. No, the stick is still very, very slow. Yeah, I think orbiting with the motion controller is gonna be challenging, but I wanna see how fast it goes in sport mode. It's a little breezy today, not super windy, but a little breezy. Yeah, and it's definitely moving faster, even with some wind in sport mode. It's coming right over us now, over the trees. Okay. So what you're saying is try putting in, turning on head tracking. Yeah. Uh, head tracking on. Oh yeah. Is it still recording? Oh yeah. Wow, you can do it while recording. Wow, okay. So head tracking is on. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like you can, is the whole drone turning, Chris? Yes. So if I wanna go over this way, I'm still in sport mode. I'm gonna put it back in normal mode. Now the question is, can I fly uh, one direction and look the other direction? So let me bring it back down here so we can see. All right, I'm gonna try going forward, but looking to my left, which should give us a view of you. Okay. So I will, is, every, is there a car coming or anything? No, nope, you're good. Okay, I'm gonna go slowly forward. And as I go, I'm gonna look at you. Oh. Really? It's still going forward? No. Oh. So what's happening is the little circle is staying in one place 
And that's the direction the drone's going. It's going towards a circle, okay. no matter which way I look, until I come around and yaw it like this. So now, like if I wanted to go, now the circle is straight ahead of me. So if I wanted to go that direction, but turn my head to the right and look at these cars as I go by, I can do that. So I'm looking at the cars, but I'm going past them sideways. Wow, okay, this is, this is actually kind of working. Nice. And then I can turn my head and look that way. Okay, uh, yeah, I see. Yeah. All right, so now I need to get back over here and yaw back around. Maybe move to my left just a little bit with the stick. Is that, am I still clear in cars? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna fly back towards us, but I'm gonna look to my left to see the cars. So I'm flying towards us and I'm looking to my left and we're going sideways past the cars. Okay, stop, stop. Um, you're, you're getting yeah, close, close to that pole, okay. So hold on, let me get the dot over here and straighten out my head. Yeah, you have to do this little game where you have to kind of like line the dot and the crosshair up together. And then once you do, then like I've got the dot aimed right at you. Yeah. And so now I'm coming towards you. Now I should be able to look over and see all these cars as we go by. Mm. But it's still coming towards you. Yeah. And it should come well, it's right. Kind of, it's kind of going to the right now. Oh, maybe because maybe because my wrist is oh. a little bit rotated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's kind of tricky to do, yeah. but it's pretty cool. Yeah. And and maybe it makes sense to go up high and do it, right? So I'm basically the drone is flying towards parallel with the highway, but I'm looking at the highway. Nice. Wow. It's a lot harder to do it with uh, this setup than it is with just a normal stick, for sure. But it's cool. It's, uh, it's, it's probably something worth spending a little time to get used to, especially if you want to use the motion controller as a, as a way to actually film things. So now I'm going to look down. So it's descending because I'm looking down. It's descending and coming forward at the same time as I think it's descending. Oh no, right. you know what? It's just flying forward. It's not descending. It's flying forward and it's and it's uh, looking, the, the gimbal is tilted down. So I could literally look straight down, but still fly um, forward over the building. So what if you wanted to fly down though? Do you just tilt your wrist down? Or? Uh, if you want to fly down, I think you would have to point the, motion controller down. So it, look at how my wrist is pointed with yeah. the motion controller. Yeah. It's, it's wherever that dot is, is where you're gonna go, and where the crosshair is, is where you're looking. So it's, it's kind of figuring out the difference. I, sh I should be going right towards, right, towards the, uh, right towards the landing pad now. Oops, hold on. Okay, that, <laughs> I'm really close to myself. Look at that. So flying the Mini 4 Pro with the Motion Controller 3 and the DJI Goggles 3 is a hoot. It's a trip. It's very strange. There's a lot of variables that you can have. For instance, if you're in FPV mode, it feels like you're flying the Avada. If you're in uh, follow mode, it is a lot more stable and feels more like a camera drone, but then you put it in head tracking mode, and again, it feels completely different. So all of those settings make a big difference. I'd probably say the simplest thing to do is to keep it in follow mode um, and make sure that you don't have head tracking on when you're starting out, because then it's pretty straightforward. You point it, you go. But if you want to try advanced moves like flying one direction and having the camera face another direction, then turning head tracking on does that. It just takes some practice to figure out where the little dot is and where the crosshairs are and how the two interact with one another. But it's worth a try. If you already have the Mini 4 Pro and you're thinking about getting the Avada 2 setup with the Motion Controller 3 and the Goggles 3, I'd highly recommend it because it's interesting the interplay you can have using this with this drone or having this with the Avada 2. It's a really cool thing that DJI is starting to make some cross compatibility between its different uh, FPV lines and its camera drone lines. I'd love to hear what you think about flying the Mini 4 Pro or the Air 3 using the Motion Controller 3 or the Goggles 3, kind of like we just did. 
Leave a comment below and tell us what you think or if there's any other experiments you want us to do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Ready Tech Drone. Okay, so as another little experiment, we wanted to see if you could use the goggles to view the camera from the Mini 4 Pro, but fly it with the RC2. So i am got the motion controller three turned off, setting it down here on my side. I'm putting on the goggles and I can see the drone uh, camera through my goggles and I can fly using the sticks just like normal. Now let's see if I can record, if I can start the record button. Uh, and yes, it just started recording just like normal. It's got a message on the screen of the RC2 that says, watch live view on goggles. Current controller can be used to control the aircraft. So it basically is telling you that you can fly using the RC2, if it's your preference, wearing the goggles. Now this is super cool. And the reason I like this is because this is what I'm used to. This is how I like to fly. I don't have to worry about the head tracking stuff. I don't have to worry about any of that um, learning curve with the motion controller three. I can just get up and fly around like I'm used to doing. I can do orbits. I can go up and down pretty quickly, which is harder to do with the motion controller. And so I love the fact that I am now basically flying FPV with a camera drone. That is super cool. Basically everything on the RC2 works like normal except for the screen because that's now in the goggles. But I'm doing a really nice orbit around that water tower and I'm doing it very smoothly because that's what I'm used to doing. Tilt the camera down, come forward. This seems like the best combo if you want to fly with goggles. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Because it is a camera drone and it's what you're used to doing with the camera drone. The motion controller is an interesting way to fly the camera drone but it feels like the motion controller is actually a little better adapted to flying with the Avada 2 than it is with this, which makes sense because that's the motion controller 3's primary reason for existing is to fly with the Avada 2. But very cool that I did not have to rebind and, and see now this time I should be able to come in and make a nice landing right on the mat. Whoop. I will say it's a little bit, oh, <laughs> it is a little windy, but I realize I'm a little off the mat. There we go. Close, close. <laughs> so that was very cool. Just to turn this on, turn that on, turn the motion controller off and have the goggle view and be able to fly with the sticks. Very cool. Chris is going to record all the entire update. No, I'm not. I'm not. Doo -doo. <laughs> Just kidding.